Today I'm going to talk about why I love Jarvis so much and we're going to actually use the long form assistant to write a blog post. Log into Jarvis. If you don't have an account yet, you can set up a free trial. Go to sadiesmiley.com forward slash Jarvis. I'll leave my link below. It is my affiliate link, but you can sign up for a free trial and it gets you 10,000 free credits. Um, whenever you sign up for the regular account, you will not see the long form assistant. You have to have a pro account for that, so keep that in mind. However, the tips I'm going to share here are helpful throughout the dashboard in Jarvis. Now, I'm not gonna lie, there is a little bit of a learning curve here, especially if you've never used any type of AI or if you've never used a tool like this. You want to describe the content you want to create. We are going to write a blog post about the best places to visit in Arizona. My keywords will be Arizona travel, Arizona bucket list, things to do in Arizona. This is something I just thought of on the top of my head, so we'll see how it works. Um, seven must see attractions in Arizona. Now, Jarvis can type your title for you. Jarvis will create one. So if you wanna see what Jarvis comes up with, just click generate ideas. A lot of the ideas are going to have numbers in them, especially odd numbers, because those are going to do best. Uh, seven must see attractions in Arizona, that was mine. Arizona's best places to visit, 10 of the best places to visit. Um, 11 best places to visit for every season, that's kind of cool. I think I'm gonna just stick with eight places to visit in Arizona and I'm gonna change it to seven. The next step is to write an intro paragraph. I like to have Jarvis do that. Uh, one of my favorite things about Jarvis is that Jarvis can write the intro and the conclusion. I'm terrible at both. So I just let Jarvis figure it out. And if you don't like the inputs, you can click generate more ideas. I'm going to use this one. So we're already off to a great start. And up here in the corner, you can't see it because my face is in the way. We are at 118 words already, just to start. Um, now, if for some reason Jarvis gets off track while you're working in here, you can change the title, you can change the content description, and you can also change the keywords. Um, when I was learning Jarvis, one of the developers said that medium is the best output length. I use long just because it works really well. I haven't had any problems with it, so it gets me more bang for my buck. I get more words output at once. So what I like to do is turn these into headings, and then if I want Jarvis to continue writing about Sedona, I'll go ahead and click Compose. If I want Jarvis to forget that we were writing about Sedona and move on to Grand Canyon State Park, I'm gonna do three asterisks. And what that does is it makes Jarvis not pay attention to everything that is written before that. So we're gonna go ahead and do an output for Grand Canyon National Park, see if it works. And that's absolutely beautiful. So we're going to make this a heading. And then if I wanted Jarvis to keep typing, uh, one thing you can do is you can double hashtag that. And then Jarvis is going to know that this is your main topic right now that you're focusing on. And that's the output you're going to get. So let's see where to visit in Arizona is going to be my next one because I want Jarvis to give me some more ideas. Let's see what Jarvis comes up with. Looks like it's still talking about the Grand Canyon, which I do not like. So I'm going to make sure it Jarvis forgets that we were talking about the Grand Canyon. And let's see if I can trick him. Where to visit in Arizona. There we go. And see what we get now. All right, we've got Scottsdale, Sedona, which we already had, so Let's see if it said the same thing. Nope, a little bit different. So I'll take this output from Sedona and just put it up here and then I'll fix it later. I'm not even reading through this right now. Um, and then Arizona has a lot to offer. 
that is more um, an intro. So we're just going to leave that in there. We have forgotten that. Let's turn Scottsdale into its own little heading. And then I have my own, oops, I have my own ideas too, so I'm going to throw those in there um, and see if Jarvis knows. We're going to go ahead and asterisk that. Now you can come up with your own outline or you can use another template in Jarvis for it. You could also go over to Google and say, okay, best places to visit in Arizona. I live in Arizona, so I have a million that I could mention. But if you're writing about something you don't know a whole lot about, then you can go to Google and it says, what is the prettiest place in Arizona? Sedona, of course. Um, and then you can grab that Sedona and move it over there. Um, here's another one that says Phoenix, Tucson. I have better ideas. Those are pretty general. But again, if you don't know, if you haven't been there, then you need to uh, try to use Google. Again, the double hashtag, it's kind of like a topic slash header and it, it keeps, ah crap, I didn't mean to do that. It keeps Jarvis focused. There we go. Okay. So reasons to visit Jerome. And what I'm going to do is erase that part because I really just wanted to tell Jarvis that. That's not going to be my subheading. All right. So we've got one, two, three, four. I'll probably add some more under Scottsdale, but we also have Bisbee, Arizona Attractions. Bisbee is awesome to visit. So let's see if Jarvis knows anything about Bisbee. Uh, now, one thing to note is when Jarvis is spitting out facts, for example, it says Bisbee is just over an hour and a half outside of Tucson. Well, if you don't know if that's true, then you need to Google it and fact check. Bisbee to Tucson is one hour and 36 minutes. So Jarvis was actually correct. However, whenever Jarvis spits facts out, it's not always going to be as accurate. So you need to make sure that you're fact checking everything. And another thing is I always run everything through Copyscape. So we'll do that at the end whenever I'm finished here. Um, but the two short codes, like I mentioned before, are the three asterisks and the two hashtags. Um, the title is very important, content description. Again, you might want to change it up. So if I want, uh, if I want Jarvis to write about Tombstone, Arizona, I might change it to, let's make sure he forgets all this. I might change it to best places to visit in Tombstone, Arizona. And then this is going to be the heading. And we're going to see what Jarvis comes up with. It says over here, continue writing more on your own. I'm only at 10%. So I need to write some more of my own stuff, which I don't like to have to do in the middle of all this. But um, some of my favorite places to visit in Arizona include, I probably wouldn't keep that. That's really generic. But I just want to see if Jarvis changes the output. Like, I changed the content description, so. Beautiful, I love it. All right, so, tombstone. We're gonna make it into a subheading. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we wanted to do seven places to visit. Where else should we visit? All right, best places to visit in Arizona. Antelope Canyon is a good one. Um, Petrified forest. That's I love a petrified forest. Let's do that. Okay, and one thing I wanted to mention real quick is sometimes Jarvis will cut off in the middle of a sentence. That happens a lot more with the longer form editor, like right here whenever you click longer. It does happen more when you choose longer rather than medium, but I would rather finish a sentence than only get a little bit of output. So we're going to... Forget Tombstone, add Petrified Forest, um, all about the Petrified Forest in Arizona. 
and see what happens now. Now this is a rough draft, so once I get Jarvis to finish, uh, we're right now at about 700 words. I usually get up to about a thousand, but because of this video, I'm just doing an example. I'm just gonna stop whenever I get to seven, which is right now. Um, but this is just the very first step. What I do next is, cop or well, next I'm going to write a conclusion. And the way I do that is by opening a new window of Jarvis and then uh, choosing blog post conclusion. Oh, and one other thing I forgot to show you is whenever you highlight a paragraph, you can use this tool to rephrase it, which is much like the content improver, which is another template, or you can use explain it to a fifth grader, which explain it to a child is the other template inside of Jarvis. I will tell you though, once you explain it to a fifth grader, it's gonna cut the output in half usually. Uh, which is actually a good thing. If you have a thousand words, but half of them are fluff, that's not the type of blog post you want to write. You want everything to be as concise as possible and get rid of the fluff, and that's what that does. Uh, but if for some reason you don't like how something's worded, you can click rephrase. I actually like how this is worded, but this is even cooler. Get to know the petrified forest in Arizona, a treasure trove of a 100,000 acres of wood, that was once part of a lush forest. So you can either replace the text, copy the text, try again, or close out of it. Now the conclusion is coming next, and we are writing about seven places to visit in Arizona, and we wrote about Sedona, Scotts, whoops, Scootsdale, Scottsdale, Grand Canyon, Jerome, Bisbee. We'll just leave it at that and see what happens. Now, tone of voice, you can choose anything you want. I usually choose engaging. If you're on the regular plan, you want to move this output down to one, two, or three. If you're on the pro slash unlimited plan, I move it up to five because I like to have options. After you use Jarvis to create a blog post, say that you stop Jarvis at about a thousand words. You can add PLR to that, or you can start with PLR and have Jarvis reword it. Like there are so many opportunities to really increase your output of high quality content. I have, uh, I don't know, a dozen blogs, and there's no way that I can write all of the articles for all of them every day. So I'll write one sentence and then Jarvis will write a paragraph or two. And that really helps increase the output that I can have, especially with limited energy. This is a good one. So then I copy the conclusion. I bring it over here. And I love this. Look, they included the ones I included, but then it says and more, which I absolutely love. Perfect, so Jarvis has this at 858 words. Again, if you don't like how something's worded, just highlight it and click rephrase or explain it to a fifth grader. If you aren't using Grammarly, you can use this to fix your grammar. Um, and you can do bullet points, they've got all the formatting. And whenever you copy this and paste it over into WordPress, you're going to find that the formatting copies over, which is pretty cool. If you have any questions at all about Jarvis, let me know. I'll create another video. Um, one thing I want to do real quick before I go is show you what Jarvis has put out and then uh, put it through CopyScape. It's important to me whenever I'm putting my name on content that it's high quality, even if I'm using a tool like Jarvis. No results found. Perfect. So then I can go over and put it into WordPress and go from there. You want to make sure you add your photos, you do your SEO and all of that stuff, but honestly you have a really good start with this tool and if you want to leave your links below, I would love to see what you create with Jarvis.